One of the cool things about working in a door is that we can set up an effect track and we can send audio from any channel inside the door to that effect track. Sending from a channel to an effects track is different to adding inserts over the top of a track itself because we can actually set up sends from multiple channels. Right mouse click on one or more tracks in the mix console and select add effects channel to whichever track you've got selected. Now you can select an effect to go on the effects channel and I'm gonna select a stereo delay. Give the channel a name because the more effects sends that we end up creating, the more confusing it's going to be. And then select add track. Now if I go up to the track that I added the send to and go down to the send tab in the inspector, you can see the send right there. If I go down to the effects folder and find the new effect track that I've just added, I can open the effect up and now I can start editing the parameters. If at any point we think we're sending too much or too little to the effects channel, we just go back to the original one and we can decrease it or increase it. Now it's a matter of messing around with the parameters to try and find a setting that's going to work for the tracks or the track that you're sending to this one particular effects track. If you're happy with the sound that you've got in this particular effects track and you've got other similar tracks that you want to create a send to, you simply select the tracks, go to the send tab, select the effect channel, and now we can turn the send on by clicking on the icon. And of course we can once again adjust the send level. There's no limit, we can do this to as many channels as we want. So there's lots of flexible options for you to add effects or inserts into your track. And setting up an effect track that we can send multiple sends to means that we can just use the one channel and the one effect, which is also great on CPU resources. Hey, thanks for taking the time to stop by. Please like the video if you've learned something and subscribe to our Cubase YouTube channel for plenty more videos just like this. See you there.